Hello and welcome to Bailey's. Yet again, knock picks are hitting the ball out of the park. So, you've already seen the fact that we've been using Ace H50R. We've been using the little Lumi 19 super compact uh, thermal imaging monocular. And we've also been using the Vista, this H50R, uh, which is like their, their king of thermal spotters. And so far, everything has been absolutely bang on. Even the Lumi 19 for its price point is absolutely amazing. So what they've gone and done is bought out this. This is a Lumi H35R. So unlike the other Lumi, this one's obviously got a 35mm lens, uh, which is an f1 0.9 lens as well. And they've also packed into this an 800 meter laser range finding module underneath there as well. So it still runs off the 18650 batteries. It's still super, super compact. It's still got the magnetic thing for putting the lens cap there so it's out of the way. And it's still just super, super compact and lightweight. And this will fit in most of your pouches for your, uh, your binos and your bits and pieces like that. So yeah, this is absolutely superb. Uh, the image quality that I've been getting from this is beautiful. They've got the same colour palettes as the rifle scopes. So I'll simplify it because I don't know all the names, but you've got your black heat, you've got red heat, you've got white heat, you've got green heat, um, you've got red, and you've got like uh, a purpley, which is a purpley heat, which is really nice and easy on the eye. The red, green, and the purple are absolutely stunning on the eye. You, you don't get the headaches from it, because I really suffer with the headaches. It's really nice and through them, especially the green, which I use a lot on the actual rifle scope. So what I'll do, um, I'll chuck some footage in now of us actually filming with these whilst we've been out doing fox control and uh, and then come back to you at the end of the video. Cheers. Right then, very efficient night with Jake so far. We've got one over there, 140. We've got that one here at 50. One over there at 180 and then panning across. We've got one there at 70 yards ish, 60, 70 yards. And then we've got that one at 37 yards. So all in all, a very respectable evening. 140 yards away. Eh? Oh, there you go. Uh, other ones to the right, same distance, just over the top of the path. Come right. He's about 180 yards away, so just aim on him. Nice, good shot, well done. He's coming. He's coming to the left of the bush. Coming to the left of the bush. Are you ready? Yeah. Here he is. Nice, nice shot, well done. Hundred and thirty five meters. Hundred and thirty five meters. Uh, just broke cover on the left now beyond the mound. Huh? It'll come out towards where that 180 yard one is. Yeah, he's not having it. That's more like it.
おいRight then, so this is just a little bit of a display of the colour palettes, which are on the new uh, Lumi 35R uh, H. Um, so we've got Viridian, which is your green, Crimson, which is red, colour, red hot, which would help if there was something to look at, but there's not, so that'd be red, black hot, which is my favourite white hearts and then violet as well but I tend to use viridian because it's easy on the eye but uh, yeah so that's your color palettes um, below here you've got your brightness you've got your contrast and you've got your image sharpness and then on the main menu system you've got your ultra clear mode your Wi-Fi your image hue whether or not you want the audio on or not your calibration for the shutter, whether you want it automatic or manual, where you can view your recorded videos and photos, and then you've got your settings, which is your basics, including uh, where you can change it from yards to meters, as well as your image stabilization. If I click on there, you'll see that it's zoomed in a touch. Basically, this just allows that while we're moving like this, it allows it that little bit of buffer space where it's not going to be jolty and all over the place as you can see like that me personally i don't like using it so we shall turn that back off by scrolling down to there and turn that back off so i've got the full field of view which is uh, absolutely stunning so there we go so as you can see from that footage this thermal for the size of it being so compact as it is is an absolute belter of a thermal um, it just feels nice and the ease of just being able to swap out an 18650 battery when it runs out is absolutely phenomenal um, I'm getting even with range finding about five five to six hours um, out of the batteries I'm using that are quite uh, high milliamp hour uh, the ones that they come with are 3850 milliamp hour you'll get these batteries in the pack and not only that you'll get a very nice uh, carry case here as well which has got the molly attachments on the back so you can connect it onto your harness onto a belt anywhere out of the way and yeah absolutely superb so uh, yeah you'll be able to see these um, at the British shooting show on the knock pick stand uh, which is next door to the hawk stand Come across, have a natter, get hands on, have a look through and see what you think. I'll be there to have a natter with as well. Uh, and if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, in the footage, there should have been some rifle footage as well, just to spice things up a little bit. So, sorted. Thank you very much. Cheers.